<laughs> now, it's time I get driving. Oh my God, it's like a jet ski. This is so good, everyone. All right. Such an amazing car to drive. Hello, everyone. Today, I am going to be reviewing and test driving the Nissan Qashqai. I already reviewed the Nissan Qashqai, but I didn't have the chance and opportunity to drive it. Now, today is the moment of truth, everyone. I'm very excited. The Nissan Qashqai is a very interesting model because it's one of the first models to be built by Nissan in collaboration with Renault. Now, as we all know, Renault and Nissan have an alliance going on together. For a long time in the EU market, the Nissan Qashqai has been a very strong competitor. In fact, it's not very clear who is the primary competitor against the Nissan Qashqai. But whoever it is, the Nissan Qashqai is still a very unique competitor in its own ways because they have been very dominant in the market, in the EU market, especially here on Belgian roads, guys. The Nissan Qashqai costs less than 35,000 euros. Is this good value for money or not? We're gonna find out in a moment, everyone. Let's get done with the review and test drive right now. Uh, this is not the first time ever driving a Nissan Qashqai. I did drive a Nissan Qashqai before, but it was actually a last generation Nissan Qashqai, the second generation. The second generation Nissan Qashqai was... The accelerator was very, like, rock... Whoever designed the accelerator must have worked for NASA because every time I pushed the accelerator, despite it being a manual transmission, the car would just wow, like, oh, it's ready to go on the run. Um, whereas with this Nissan Qashqai, I have to test drive it and then only I can pass my judgment. Uh, let's get down with this test drive right now. Okay, all right, so this particular Nissan Qashqai is a manual transmission. So therefore, uh, to start and stop the car, you have to push this uh, start stop button right here. There you go. Uh, and when doing so, you have to push the brakes as well. So um, that's it. And this is your handbrake right here. So it's all uh, electronic, it seems. I think this is a Renault Nissan aspect uh, going on. In fact, uh, speaking of Renault Nissan, it looks as though the materials in this interior uh, look like something I've seen also in Renault, uh, mo uh, Renault cars. Woo! <laughs> now, it's time I get driving. So, put it in gear one. And we roll. Right. So, so far so good, everything is uh, going right, so I feel like the acceleration is rather smooth, but that's because I get to control it since it's a manual transmission. And when it comes to uh, the feel, the quality of the ride, it's very, very pleasant actually. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh my god, it's like a jet ski! This is so good everyone! I love it! Like, just look at this. It's so nice. I like it. All right, let's see if I can execute a U-turn right here. Can it actually make it, everyone? Ah! It's close! This close, guys! I almost made it! <laughs> well done, Nissan Qashqai! Wow! Wow, 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 wow. Now, we're gonna drive over a bump and see what it's like. Oh, not bad at all. The suspension setting of this Nissan Qashqai is more on the firm side. It has a very, like, a more firm setting, which explains why road performance is immaculate. It's so, road performance is a very, very good. I'm absolutely stunned everyone i'm absolutely stunned actually to be honest i'm not very certain who is a primary competitor to the nissan Qashqai. to this very day it's not very clear but many people mention things about the toyota rav4 or, or perhaps then volkswagen tiguan um but uh but it's it's not very clear because then also there's the nissan x-trail but the nissan x-trail is bigger so it's like it's more of a toyota rav4 competitor I'm not, it's, it's not clear everyone, but whatever competitor this car has, this car is amazing. The U-turn I just did back there was, oh, this close guys, it was so good. It's almost like a bicycle, but I'll do another U-turn very soon. Um, anyways. All right. Ah! 
Huh. All right, that's interesting. So, I noticed it likes to go all the way there, but then whenever I have to change a gear that goes here, it, it stops right, right in the middle as if it's in neutral. So that's that's very interesting observation I see. So now I'm going to test the acceleration of this Nissan Qashqai. If I can actually do a proper acceleration, because this is a manual transmission. So uh, bear with me, everyone. One, two, three. So listen up guys, um, the acceleration was very interesting. Uh, doing it with a manual transmission actually makes it even more fun and it's so smooth actually because you have to get used to it. When you choose the right moment, the right rev, pay attention to the rev meter. Always pay attention to the rev meter. Be very careful not to be at, at such a high rev because being at such a high rev consumes more fuel. You have to be also more economic, but do not change gears at a very low rev either because uh, the car needs to have an, uh, enough uh, power to keep the momentum going, to keep the rhythm going. Um, what I have to say is that uh, the acceleration was very smooth and to my surprise, the car accelerated faster than I had anticipated. Now, it's not as fast as the last generation Nissan Juke I uh, drove. Um, in fact, uh, it, it didn't have a rocket acceleration, so I push the accelerator, and the next thing I know, I'm like this, ah! In this Nissan Qashqai, I actually had everything under control. So it's like, you know, I feel like the acceleration was just spot on, you know? Not too fast, but not sluggish either. Test the brakes of the Nissan Qashqai. And let's see how it goes. So in a moment, I will do a very stiff break. Like right now. Okay. All right, that was an emergency break I just performed, just to see what it's like. Um, it, it works good, it works good. Now let's just say I'm in traffic pace and uh, I want to do a break, or let's say I brush the brake. Uh, a gentle brake. I feel like the brake is a little bit on the sensitive side. Let's try again. This time, not an emergency brake. We're just gonna brake as if we are going to stop at a red light. Let's just say that, for example. So, uh, we are driving, it's just a stroll in the park. And then we push the brakes. I've noticed each time I brush the brakes, there's always this inclination to do an emergency brake. Well, not an emergency brake, but this car is very really much inclined to just, uh, you know. Okay, you know, the brakes on this Nissan Qashqai are a bit sensitive, so the best braking you can do is just by brushing the pedal gently. Do not push it too hard, because when you push it too hard, you end up doing an emergency brake. All right, so. I'm just driving on the road, seeing how it's like. Hey, look everyone, I roll in a Nissan Qashqai, whoopee. <laughs> they see me rolling. Look everyone, I'm driving a jet ski. <laughs> the, the suspension setting is clear to tell that it's on the sport side. It's on the sport side because um, I have to say, I, it's registering every single bump on the road. Like Now in terms of comfort ride, well, I guess the seat is on the comfort side. I feel comfortable, but you know, in terms of uh, uh, shock absorbing or in terms of uh, like, you know, uh, driving over bumps and everything, you will hear every single bump you drive over. So that's maybe on the questionable side, but otherwise on the positive side, the car is sporty as it has to be. So I like it guys, I really do. So there's something very, like, uh, I have to say, this car feels very fun to drive and also it feels very city friendly. In terms of road noise, the road noise is good. Yeah, like, uh, I hear the engine most of the time. But otherwise, when it comes to hearing the public, hearing the other cars on the road, yeah, it's, it's almost negligible. It's like you don't hear really much going on outside, except the car engine itself. Now, in terms of the acoustics in this interior, I think the acoustics are super good because I'm talking, well, whenever I talk, it feels as though I'm in a building. So I'm just gonna do a little test. Hello? Hello? Good. 
Good. The acoustics. Whenever you hear your voice sort of echoing uh, a lot, that means the acoustics is not very good. When the voice doesn't echo, it, whenever the voice is like normal, as if you're in a building, that means the acoustics is good. Um, so in this regard, I'm impressed. Now I'm going to show you all why I was mentioning earlier that the parking would be very easy with this Nissan Qashqai. So I'm going to engage it in reverse. There you go. When you, whenever you engage the car in reverse, you get the 360 degree parking camera. And by the way, I have this feature on my Nissan Navara and it's super helpful. The steering wheel is also very nice. I really like how light it is. It's super light. You can actually, it, it's quite nice. I really like the way it is. And then also um, it's uh, just the only questionable aspect I have about this steering wheel is that the horn in the middle is too small you know the string wheel is always very good i really like the base it's so nice so easy to hold and this makes the car very easy to handle very good but the horn is very small so it's like you know when driving whenever i want to push the horn you have to push it with a lot of force guys all right guys so i'm just going to test the horn again wait let me just open the window once and listen carefully It sounds very much like the tone of the horn, the, the tone it has, it sounds very much like something French. It doesn't sound very much like something Nissan would usually give because I remember the last generation Nissan Qashqai sounded exactly like my Nissan Navara. And, and because the Nissan Navara, the Nissan Qashqai and most Japanese crossover SUVs and most Japanese cars, they have a really light tone horn. It's like, um, uh, you know, they have, the, they have a very light tone horn, but uh, with this particular Nissan Qashqai, the horn sounds very Renault-ish. All right, so over here is the infotainment system, everyone. It's quite nice. It's very practical. So you can go on maps. You can go on the menu. If you press the menu button, uh, this is what happens. It takes you to the main page. Um, so it's quite nice. You can maneuver around. And also you can choose daytime mode or night mode. See, this is night mode day mode night mode day mode so it's, it's quite nice you can play around with it and um, you can go on navigation you can go on uh, uh, Bluetooth and everything very nice and I like the quality of the screen and I like how it kind of reminds me of uh, Google Maps it's so good guys I really like how bright everything is but hey for a Nissan Qashqai of less than 35,000 euros I could never ask for anything better. I love this infotainment system, guys. This is a panoramic roof, guys. And if everybody wants some more privacy, you know, just the thing to do. If only it were faster. It's quieter. Oh, this is so nice. But at the same time, if you look behind us, it's very dark. I mean, look at that, guys. It just became so dark suddenly at the back. Like, I remember at the beginning of this test drive, this whole interior was so airy. But then as soon as you close this uh, panoramic roof, everything just turns dark in this interior. <laughs> guys, it's okay. I asked for it, I guess. Let's take a look at this interior for once, guys. I mean, look at it. I really like how pleasant it was. Everything was at my reach. I, um, I was very impressed guys. I was very impressed and you can adjust the seating. It's so easy And uh, also this is the adjustment for the steering wheel. It, it was very helpful. The steering wheel is super light guys I mean look at this, but yeah, the design of the steering wheel looks like something from the 1960s and 70s guys because uh, I know some cars that had like, you know, like just this base at the center that would look exactly like this like circular and everything and this is what Nissan kind of you know went about with this uh, steering wheel I'm not sure if they did it deliberately but hey whatever they did it was so good just the horn is just rather small you know I'm used to having a bigger base for the steering wheel but it's good it's not bad at all now this over here is your instrument cluster guys and this is the kind of uh a rev meter you get and this is the kind of speedometer you guys get um now I I'm not really used to this sort of a rev meter. Like, check this out. And check this out, guys. You even have a driving mode. So let's see what happens if we do it. Okay. So whenever I do this, it appears over here, guys. So you can choose your modes. Um, you can choose standard mode, sport mode, or eco mode. 
All right, it's hard to tell the difference between the eco and uh, standard mode, but one thing I've noticed is that on sport mode, the engine screams a lot, and that's something I've noticed also on other crossover SUVs like the Hyundai Tucson. Oh yes, everyone, when it's a rainy Belgian weather, all you need is a wonderful, comfortable car to drive in. You don't need a luxury car. All you need is a nice, comfortable car. And this is exactly what the Nissan Qashqai delivered to me today as I was driving. My conclusion of the test drive of the Nissan Qashqai is that it was like a jet ski, guys. It was such an amazing car to drive. It was um, very maneuverable, actually. The firm suspension and also the way it just drove, guys. It, the steering, the, the steering radius. Test driving the Nissan Qashqai has been very, very revealing for me. However, it did kind of reveal some new things to me and that is it shows prominently how Renault and Nissan, they actually have something going on together because there's something about this current generation Nissan Qashqai that really has some more uh, Renault influence, I feel. Like, the, for example, the sound of the horn, when you listen to the tone, it really does sound French to me. It sounds like something the PSA group usually would use. Uh, or it sounds like a Renault car horn. Actually, yeah, probably like that. But whatever car horn it sounds like, everyone, it sounds amazing. And also, this is proof that Nissan is actually on the verge of finding a better identity for itself. You heard me. I love this Nissan Qashqai. It's one of the best cars you can get for a price of less than 35,000 euros. And also, super easy to drive in the city, super road friendly, super price friendly. And one last thing before I go, guys. I have to say that in today's generation, I am very happy with how car manufacturers are working very hard to find their own identity and to building cars in mass and at the same time managing to make them reliable and appealing. And over here is the latest example, guys, between Renault and Nissan. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos that are on the run. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go city cruising with this Nissan Qashqai.